Yo, what is up everyone? So, I, guess what, I have finally got the internet sorted here as well. I've now got fibre, so instead of trying to upload a five minute video, which normally takes about, this is no exaggeration either, about five hours, it was painful. I was running on like 0.4 um, upload speed and yeah, it was horrific and very painful. That's why you haven't really seen an upload for last couple of weeks. It kind of got sorted before and then it just went down. Now it's fully sorted. So you'll see me on the live stream as well on the gaming channel. Um, but today, anyway, I have got a cool little vanish for you which comes from Nathan Dharma. I'll leave a link in his description. Um, I saw it on his um, Instagram. He does a lot of Instagram and it's a dope ass move. Um, so I'm going to use his cards as well, the implicit cards, just to give him a little self-promotion. Um, so let's just get straight into it. First, let's have a look at what it looks like, and then get, eh, there. and then let's get into a tutorial. So it's a pretty badass move. Um, whether it's practical or not, that's up to you guys to decide. I'm sure you can get a routine around it to hide the card, to put it in your pocket, do whatever, use a metal card, have a magnet on the back, quick ditch, whatever you want. Um, nice simple move. So let's just get straight into it. Um, for presentation, there, first of all, there's no gimmicks or anything like that. So presentation, I'm just flicking the card, I do a little pirouette as well. Um, if you want to learn the pirouette, I'll just go very quickly into detail, uh, very little detail in fact, because I'm not going to spend long on to it. Just apply a little bit of pressure on the middle of the card with your middle finger. I am not flicking you all off, don't worry. And then your little index finger is just going to make this little motion back and forwards. At the same time, you let go of your thumb at the top and you get a little bit of a spin. Just practice that. To start off with, you'll probably only get a little bit of move like this. Basically, the softer you do it, the more you can get it spinning. If you try to hold it really tight, it's probably not gonna go very much, but if you hold it really soft, you might drop it, but then you pick it back up and you go again, and you drop it again, and then you pick it back up, and then, uh, yeah, let's just forget about that. So let's just get into moves. So you can do your little pirouette move, Flick it onto your hand. Now here's where the secret happens. Once you flick it onto your hand, I do it in my left hand. Um, obviously, do whatever you want after. You want this bottom right corner, right where the pip is, to clip onto your pinky and ring finger, just like so. So you're getting this clip motion here, where you're just clipping the card. Obviously not too much of a clip, because you'll be able to see the card here. You are just clipping it very tiny. So once you chuck that card on your hand, you can get that into position very quick and get that clip applying a little bit of pressure. Once you've got that clip, you also want the pressure to be applying on the thumb. So the other top index of the card is just on the thumb like so. But if I let go of that thumb, you can see how it dips down but I've got that clipped, so it's just gonna hold on to that position. So a little bit of an exposed view. You're throwing it onto your hand, you catch that clip, like so. Whatever motion you want to cover a card, you let go of your thumb, and it drops down into this position here, which can then be put down there, into your pocket, whatnot, um, come out clean. It's entirely up to you how you wanna present it. So it's a fairly basic move, not much is really going on, um, obviously it's very angle sensitive, so whether you want to use it live in practical performance, uh, I say if you've got a magnetic card or magnets in the card, you can just go into the back pocket, leave it there, clip it, bring your hand straight back. The only other thing, once you've done that, whatever vanish you want to do, um, don't have the hands in separate positions. Don't have like this one like this and this one really tight because it looks a little bit suspicious. Just let that naturally and come down to the side of your hand, whatnot. Um, but really easy to do, really easy to get into a clip. 
naturally and then it's just letting go of the thumb so it drops into this position here That's it. I thought it was great for camera I want to give Nathan a little bit of a shout out as well because he's hooked me up on these implicit cards which are pretty badass and his visual magic on Instagram is unbelievable I love his content um, go check him out sub to him um, he's nearly on 20k followers now so be sure to check him out Thanks again, Nathan, and I'll see everyone else again very soon.